Club Q is one of two dedicated LGBTQ plus bars in the entire city of Colorado Springs. For years, it's been a safe space for people to celebrate who they are. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon paid a visit to the other LGBTQ plus bar in town where the staff is standing strong in support of their friends and colleagues at Club Q. It's just more powerful than words. Every note and every breath the sun will come out tomorrow. full of hope one of those human things that is about love but today the song was hard to pick Come what may. being louder than the hate and the music even harder to play we're well aware that we wouldn't have been as embraced as we were if it wasn't for the foundation that club q laid they've been such a staple and um Sorry. <laughs> John Wolf. They didn't deserve that, and it could have easily have been us and our staff here. And Josh Franklin opened Icons, an LGBTQ plus piano bar in 2020. You're only a day away. I did grow up here. It was really tough. It was in the 90s. It was when Colorado was deemed the hate state. All the more reason to come back here in 2020 and make a big statement and embrace how much the community has grown. Since the mass shooting at Club Q over the weekend, there's not one word that sums up how they're feeling. We're running the gamut of emotions between like completely devastated, picturing the faces of people that we know that we've served here that are no longer with us and equally being so frustrated. As a community, we just don't want to be killed. Yeah, it's not a, an outlandish request. Trying to figure out how to move forward. When it's hard to keep going, sometimes it feels like you don't have a choice. There's no other option. Because what's in the music? A love that never wavers. We don't want to be on camera, we don't want to be doing interview. we don't want to be doing this, but it is important that people know that our love is strong and loud and important and deserves to be here. And we will be louder than the hate in the world. Picking this song to sing for us today. Just thinking of how tomorrow clears away the cobwebs of the sorrow. But I think it's more powerful to look at the hope, look at how far we've come, and, and not let this set us so far back that we can't move forward. Hoping for a tomorrow where you can't hear the hate. And say, oh, the sun will come out tomorrow. So you beautiful tribute and there are several ways you can help the victims and their families. You can go to coloradogives.org and look for Colorado Healing Fund. Make sure you select the Club Q shooting in the drop down menu. GoFundMe has also been working to verify funds for victims and survivors. The largest is organized by the Good Judy Garage. It's an LGBTQ plus owned auto repair shop. So far the fund has raised more than a half million dollars.